What's up guys? I didn't really plan on vlogging today. Okay, that's really weird. <laughs> it's not weird, but it's weird. It's funny how like as soon as I started recording and talking, I feel like Angel doesn't like to be on camera. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Jen Gaga's World. Let's go ahead and get into today. <laughs> So today is January 5th. Today is Angel's 14th birthday. Y'all, I kid you not. This is a trip. I can't even make this up. Like, if you believe in signs, I'm one of them that does. Just a second. Just sat down to have a bite to eat and my dog's circling around me hoping for a snack. <laughs> so... Today is a day that I, I've always taken off. I've always taken off January 5th, whether it rolls in from a vacation or if my vacation ends earlier or in the past where I used to take vacation um, prior to the holidays, I would still take January 5th off. Like hands down, this was always a day for me, especially after having lost Angel. Um, so this morning I didn't go to the gym I was going to, and I was like, just, just go home. Cause I still had to set up his little area and everything. Earlier when I, I decided to clean up and the reason why I had to clean up is because the other day I got a little um, compost bin. And this morning I had let my dogs out early before the rain hit, brought them back in. And then I took my daughter to school and back. And by the time I got back, the compost bin was, they got into it. Let's just say that. So I figured it's fine, like, let me just clean up. I swept and mopped, or I was I was like, let me just sweep and mop, because today is my day to sweep and mop. I did stop by before I got home. I did stop by and got my coffee. So if it looks a little watered down, that's why, because it's just been kind of sitting, waiting for me to drink it. And I didn't really have breakfast because I had to take my daughter to school, and then I came back. I just, I, I've just been kind of in this uh, low-key funk. Part of it's because my husband was supposed to take the day off, and I won't go into all that, but because of the storms and and all this crazy weather you can only imagine car accidents are happening and so they're getting busy at at the shop and so he was like I was going to take the day off but I ended up we're just way too busy so of course I'm bummed out but at the same time um the nice thing is I could kind of just be in my own zone and just kind of be to myself and kind of just in my own thoughts so I decided let me go ahead and sweep and mop and as I was getting, after I swept and getting ready to mop, I was like, let me, let me decorate Angel's little area. And I put up this little felt, um, de decoration piece. You'll see it in a second. I'll insert the video here. Celebrate. And so as I was setting that up, I went to take a photo, like I did a little quick video, and then as I went to take the photo so I could share, because I always share it on my social media, and I share it not for pity, but more for spreading um, spreading awareness and breaking that taboo, because I feel like a lot of times um, nobody wants to talk about it, or everybody jumps to, oh, they're just looking for attention, and it's not that at all. For me, it's about spreading that awareness. Here goes my activist side, it's kicking in, I feel it. <laughs> But for me, it's about spreading awareness that this happens to so many women. And if you listen to my speech when I received my award, I keep going back to that speech because I got the inspiration award. And really, the inspiration for me was my son. And this is why I talk about it, because he's the reason why I pushed through so much. Like for me, it's been about, okay, I'm not going to be a full-time mom or I'm going to be a full-time mom, but I'm not going to be a mom of a new baby. So what now, you know, now what? And so that's what led me to go back to school. I really wanted to get to the point. The point was that I'm here to spread the message. I'm not going to go down and relive that event again. I have a video for that. I'll make sure to link it above here in this video. So I'll spare, spare the details and myself, the grief of having to relive that every single time. I don't want to keep having to tell that story all the time. But for those who know, know, and if you're interested, you can listen to it. I've shared it in the past on this platform on YouTube. And 
but again, I went to go, you know, shoot the little video, take a photo to post it on my social media, my annual post. And when I tell you, I either, okay, this little corner, there's a lot of energy naturally. I don't feel it like it's like jumping off at me, but I know there's energy happening in this corner. And the reason why, and, and I'll show you in here in just a moment. I know Angel, if that's you, you're gonna, you're like, I don't wanna be on camera. But Angel's at the top in his little urn. And then I got Savannah, my nine-year-old lab that passed away back in June of 19. And then I got Crazy Daisy, which if he passed away um, a few weeks ago, back in November. Now there, and for any of you who knew Daisy, Daisy was a whole lot. She was a little dog, but that dog got to 17 years of age and she went, she didn't go out without a fight. Like to the last day, she was just fighting, fighting, like not biting us or anything, but she just would not relax. Um, unfortunately, you know, we had to move forward with certain events because she was just too old to do any surgery or anything, but I won't go into all that. But, you know, so anyway, she was very rambunctious. And so, and then I have with that little corner, my uncle Danny, which I do not have his ashes, but I do have his picture and pictures of us um, over the, you know, couple, couple images that I have of us over the past in our life together. So there's a lot happening. And with, within that same corner, like my uncle Danny, I love my uncle Danny. Any of any, of, any one of you who knew my uncle Danny knew that my uncle Danny, he was a mess and a half. And I say that with all the love because he would tell you himself, he's a mess and a half. He would tell himself that he was the Mexican Al Pacino. And he was very proud of being a player. That's what he said. <laughs> like for any of you watching family, please don't be mad because y'all know Uncle Danny and how he was because Uncle Danny was a cool cat. Like I loved him. And he was the only reason you will catch me in anything Raiders because he was a diehard Raiders fan. Um, but Uncle Danny was, gosh, he was a mess and a half. And I still feel like he watches over us. And um, and then, like I said, my dogs, they've just, you know, been a part of our life. And then you have Angel, which he would have been 14 today. And so y'all know at 14, if you know, if you have a teenager, my kids hate being on camera or taking pictures. Okay. I don't know. Maybe he's annoyed. He's probably like, stop doing the whole celebration or stop decorating me or why are the elves here? You'll see the elves. If you saw the little clip, you saw the elves were there. Um, they're just trying to celebrate you, puppy. <laughs> That's all. But, you know, I'll share the post that I posted. Um, gosh, how can I pull it up without? And that's the thing, because I record on my camera. I mean, I'm on my phone. Let me see if I can pull up my notes on my watch. Just a second. Sorry, I can't help you with notes on Apple Watch. Well, there's that. So <laughs> I'll see if I can video somehow. Um, gosh, I really want to be able to share it. You know what? I won't even. I won't even do all that. What I'll, I might even just do a quick slideshow, just like quick. I did 14 different because it's his 14th birthday. I did 14 different, it's been 14 years since. It was just something different. I don't know. It just called, like, I was preparing this last night, and I was just in my own zone, and I just kind of thought about it, and I was like, you know what? Instead of a whole speech, this is my message to him. It's not to everyone else. It should be to him. So this is my message, and that's what that's what I captured. So I'm going to go ahead and show you really quick what I'm talking about. And he knocked it over and I'm going to have to go tape it again. Or we could just chop it up to its cheap tape. Let me show you the tape I have. I don't know who has this scotch tape. But if it's this cloudy, this tape does not work. Like, especially on wood, that kind of wood I think is what's happening. Is that it's like, it's like that shiny wood, um, but it's also textured. So I think it just doesn't like it. But... Let me go um, put it up because, like I said earlier, when I was trying to video, 
um all of a sudden it fell over the elf went flying like and it like when i tell you i caught the image and suddenly it just like boom but my my phone caught the image in time so uh yeah but when i went to go try to fix it yeah it was just a whole mess and then i had to bring forward our santos and our virgencita because they were, look like they're hiding in the shadows but yet you got the elves like right up front so i was like yeah let me let me fix this so <laughs> um and you know i also wondered i'm like i hope people don't think it's offensive because the elves are up there but you know what that's part of our family that's the thing like and that's what we choose to celebrate and, and celebrate with for the holidays and if some don't believe it or they think it's creepy or what is that then sorry but that's what works for us so yeah, and I already posted a picture. I'm like, maybe the, the elves would have been good on top next to the little sign. That would have probably been cuter. But it's too late. I already posted it. And yeah. But let me show you. So they decided to take a nap again. <laughs> so you see this is how it fell. I've taped it I don't know how many times. And so there's a little an angel watches over our home. You can see our, our Virgencita in the back, San Juditas, the angel, she's in her outfit, her little angel outfit, an angel in the middle, and then the little birthday balloon with their other elf. And then, but down here we have Savannah, Daisy, I need to get her picture up. Then I got my Uncle Danny right here. And then this is me and my Uncle Danny when I was little. <laughs> it keeps falling forward. So let me fix this. And hopefully he doesn't knock it over again. Here we go. So see how much tape I had to put in the corners. It looks so janky. But hopefully that stays. And it was up more because I don't want to keep covering her face. But at this point, I'm like, I got my photo for earlier. And that's just going to have to work. And then we'll move them around so that when we do his cake later, he can be on the counter on the little um, island with us. Yeah, so that's what I got going on. Um, just got back on the table here. I'm going to eat my quick breakfast and sip my coffee. I have some tilapia thawing for a late, later lunch snack because it's already 1130. I can't believe it. The day's just flying. I'll probably take the dogs. I know it's pretty gray and gloomy out there, but this is my opportunity to take them on their walk. But I did want to eat first and then I can you know, kind of work it off when I walk. And then I'll come back and maybe just do a little quick core exercise because I'm really trying to hit my seven days of um, workout on my watch. Um, but yeah, so this is what's for breakfast. I have, I thought I had um, sourdough and I don't. So usually I do one big sourdough slice and then do all this toppings, but we're out. And I haven't got any of my healthier, like the Dave's Killer Bread, but I'm working with, with, that, with what I got. So we got... A regular piece of bread, some cheddar, avocado, and an egg. I would have made two eggs, but I ended up just doing one egg and cut it in half with a little bit of the, everything but the bagel seasoning and with my cafecito. And then I'm going to eat and be on, be on the way to the rest of the day. So I'll catch you all in a little bit. Well, there went the idea of walking. Look how wet it, like the whole ground is so wet. You guys, this is five minutes later. I went about my business and was cleaning up my plate and putting away clean dishes and look, this is how today's been. It's so on and off. Like this morning when I thought about walking right after I got back from dropping my daughter off at school, it was low-key sunny. And the next thing you know, I let my dogs out to use the restroom and then boom, it starts raining. So I had to like rush and let them back in. <laughs> but it's been like this all day. It's so crazy. This is like hard. At least the wind went down. That was the biggest concern. Last night it was so windy. Fortunately, we didn't lose power and a lot of people seemed to be okay versus new year's eve it was crazy but yeah you guys this is crazy look at this at least our grass will be nice and green <laughs>